fanden hier Sabram zurück in Genshin Impact und ich starte mal wieder eine neue Mission, denn ich habe wieder einiges geschafft und gemacht in letzter Zeit. Ich habe auch ein paar Charaktere hochgelevelt und äh, möchte jetzt so ein bisschen wieder vorankommen. So. Und dann haben wir hier schon neu ausgewählt. Wir werden uns wiedersehen. Damit haben wir letztes Mal auch schon etwas gemacht. Und äh, da geht es noch um Dein Sleeve. Und das werden wir jetzt sozusagen, ja, zum Ende bringen, hoffe ich. So, dann werden wir erstmal in die Nähe springen. Wenn ich so viel warten müssen. Gucken wir mal, was ist ein guter Punkt? Ich glaube, von hier oben. Und dann springen wir da mal runter. Ich habe es soweit schon mal geschafft, dass die... Waffen weitgehend auf Level 70 sind und auch meine Charaktere. Was mir jetzt halt noch fehlt, ist tatsächlich ja, Erfahrungspunkte, damit ich meine Charaktere hochleveln kann. Da muss ich noch ein bisschen grinden. So, das haben wir gelernt. Alles killen, dass ich bei drei auf dem Baum ist. So, das nehmen wir erstmal mit. Wo ist die kleine Lady? Oh, 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 oh. Genommen. Entschuldigung, aber wie schon vorhin erwähnt, ach Quatsch, falsche Taste, ich äh, muss noch ein bisschen hochleveln und dafür brauche ich nicht nur Erfahrungspunkte, sondern auch dementsprechend ohne Besagter Sand, nicht schlecht. So, noch ein paar andere Sachen und jetzt begeben wir uns mal zum Ziel und gucken wir mal, das müsste jetzt irgendwo da an dem Graben sein. Folgen wir mal dem Eichhörnchen. Ich weiß, es ist keins, aber es sieht schon so ein bisschen so aus. So. Irgendwo muss ja noch mal Ach, noch einer ist, aber gut. Ist nicht dein Ernst? Ich komme jetzt hin und dann, und dann gleich zwei Gegner. Over there! It's more Ruin Guards and Abyss Mages! Dane was just saying how these ancient machines are from Conria. Did Conria have a lot of ruins that needed to be guarded? No. Ruin Guard is the name modern people have given these machines. No one called them that 500 years ago. These Ruin Guards were known as Field Tillers by the people of Conria. Field Tillers? What a strange name. Ja, eben. Waren sie Agrarmaschinen? It's not like you think. Field Tiller was just a code name. The people of Kanria like to give code names to their weapons. The land is not to be tilled with farming tools, but rather is to be fought for with steel and blood. This is how the field tiller came about. Fought for with steel and blood? 
Well, that's an interesting way of understanding tilling. Uh, Paimon doesn't think it's a very positive interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> After the destruction of Kanria, these masterless field tillers went completely out of control. They wandered aimlessly over the centuries, gradually spreading to every corner of Tevat, perhaps resonating with the sorrow of other civilizations lost to time. They found their way to various ruins across the land, where they lie dormant. That sounds... so sad. 500 Jahre lang ziellos herumwandern? Ich glaube, das ist die beste Antwort. Once you understand more, those details won't mean much to you. But no matter their past, all that remains of them now is the danger they pose. So destroy them all. Was soll ich da doch alle vernichten? Wie brutal ist das denn? Jetzt wirbelt er auch noch. Er soll schön im Feuer stehen bleiben. Ja, kann er durchwirbeln? Ja, kann er nicht. Haha. <lacht> This talisman seems connected to the Abyss Herald, but why would an Abyss Mage be carrying it? Hmm. Perhaps it really does contain information about their operation. But Paimon can't read the writing on it. Oh, is that the script of Conria? Engulf the faith of the enemy in flame, and bring glory to His Highness the Prince. What? Is that what it says? Loom of Fate, initial operation. They, the Abyss, seem to be carrying out a large operation. The key word here is Loom of Fate. It seems like they are still launching the operation, or rather, are still conducting preliminary tests. Loom of Fate? What's that? Is it literally a... Fate-leaving machine? Hmm, ich würde das hier stellen. Was hat das mit der umgedrehten Statue zu tun? From the horrible feeling Paimon's been getting, those eerie ruins are super likely to be related to this fate-leaving operation. So, Dane, what message does this talisman contain? I'm reading it now. Hmm. 
an ambitious operation. But some parts are difficult to understand. How so? In short, the first phase of the plan is related to Osayo, Overlord of the Vortex. The Overlord of the Vortex? You mean that god in the ocean? Er wurde einfach vom Jade gemacht unterdrückt. Ist das dasselbe wie bei Dvalin? I know of your past heroics regarding Dvalin. And I also know of the Abyss Order's role in the Storm Terror incident. Though you may not have been aware of it at the time, you were thwarting an Abyss Order operation similar to this one. Last time it was Venti's old friend. This time it's a huge ancient god. The Abyss Order keeps setting their sights higher and higher. Will the Abyss Order use their lies and dark magic to corrupt Osayo, just as they did Dvalin? No. From the contents of the Talisman, this operation goes one step further. They won't just corrupt Osayo's mind. They also plan to use the ancient technology behind the Field Tillers to completely transform Osayo's body. Is that even possible? So wait! The Abyss Order wants to make some sort of cybernetic squid god of mass destruction? <laughs> ja, diese Spitzen haben wir nicht ständig länger. <laughs> Very few people today truly understand the civilization of Kanria. Though of course, the accuracy of that understanding itself is difficult to judge. Only the Abyss Order has consistently sought out the remnants of Kanria. Despite being far from human, they seek out this lost human civilization quite persistently. The talisman's message states that they will use the defiled statue as a base, attaching Osile's limbs to construct a mechanized god. And the new core that shall replace the orb usually held by the statue of the Seven is the eye of the very first field tiller. The eye of the very first field tiller? Uh. Oh, Paimon gets it! All those abyss mages are looking for the special eye, right? It would seem so. Finden wir das Auge vor ihnen. Das finde ich ist der beste Satz. This whole thing keeps getting more complicated. But basically, it all has to do with that eerie statue of the Seven we saw, right? Yes. According to the talisman, the eye should be placed in the hands of the defiled statue, thereby imbuing the newly born god with the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Celestia? Oh boy, the Abyss Order sure isn't holding back with this plan. Since no one knows where the first field tiller is, how about we take the information about the statue as the starting point for our investigation? Diese Statue, äh, sie hat ausgesehen wie der Anemo Archon. Yeah, that tone deaf bard is too difficult to track down anyway. Let's go to the cathedral first and ask around. Maybe we'll learn something. The cathedral. Hmm. Huh? What's the matter, Dane? Nothing. Let's get moving. Okay, wir sollen zur Favonius Kathedrale gehen. Ich gehe noch mal ganz kurz raus. Wir sind immer noch in Akt 4. Oh na dann. Nice. I smell a rabbit. So, wo müssen wir hin? Wo müssen wir hin? Hoch, 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 hoch. Ach, welch Wunder. Wir müssen nach Mondstadt. Huge statue, 
a grandiose cathedral. The people of Mondstadt clearly spent a great deal of resources and energy to construct them. But how aware of this was the animal Archon on receiving this gift? And how much did he give back in return? Faith doesn't ask for anything in return, though, does it? <laughs> as long as the gods have a clear conscience about it all, there's nothing I can say about it. Shh! We're about to enter the cathedral! Don't say anything bad about the animal Archon! And actually, the animal Archon is... Ugh, never mind! <laughs> I never specifically said I would enter the cathedral. I'll leave you two to mingle with the sisters. Huh? Bist du nicht neugierig? You are the honorary knight of Mondstadt. They will surely allow you to poke into these affairs with their utmost trust. Having me tag along would only make them suspicious. Weil sie dich nicht kennen. Correct. And just as our little friend said, I might say something bad about the church at any time. When a non-believer steps onto holy ground, the result is never pretty. I have never received the favor of the gods in the past. I don't see any reason I would need it now, or in the future either. That's enough about that. While we've been chit-chatting, the Abyss Order continues to act. Okay, then we'll just go in ourselves and ask around. I should warn you about one thing. Don't go mentioning the defiled statue inside the cathedral. The Church of Favonius wouldn't ignore the matter of the statue. But if they rashly tried anything against the Abyss Order, it would only ruin whatever element of surprise we may have. Also, meddling in the affairs of the Abyss usually doesn't end well for anyone. Dann geht's weiter. Barbara. Honorary Knight. Hi, how have you been? Do you need anything today? Uh, but I should first make it clear that if you need to borrow the Holy Lyre to Hermel again, we cannot oblige. It seems she hasn't realized it's just an illusion. Oh, we're here to ask some questions about something. Barbara, have you heard about the first field tiller? Hmm... What's that? Field tiller? What does it do? Uh, of course you wouldn't know anything about that! <laughs> okay, next question. Has the church ever lost a statue of the Seven? Huh? You're here to ask about that old story? Well, I didn't expect that. That was such a long time ago, barely anyone mentions it nowadays. A long time ago, there was indeed one statue of the Seven that disappeared one night without a trace. Nearly every member of the church joined the search for it, but it was never found. In the church's records, as you might assume, this incident has been called the Lost Statue of the Seven. Of course! Of course? Uh, nothing? So do you have any other clues? Uh, uh, Paimon means? Any other strange stories? <laughs> Sorry, Barbara, but we can't tell you about the statue we saw just yet. Like Dane said outside, it's for your own good. Other strange stories? I'm not sure. Let me think about what other unusual incidents are in the church's records. Mm. Oh, the tyrant's final fury? Mm, no, that's from another time. Probably unrelated. The tyrant's final fury? Oh, this refers to a time of great danger that engulfed old Mondstadt, the place now known as Storm Terror's Lair. 
Many, many years ago, there was a time when balls of fire would rain from the sky whenever anyone approached old Mondstadt. Balls of fire raining from the sky? How terrifying! People at that time believed it was a curse laid down by the god of storms, so they referred to it as the tyrant's final fury. This strange phenomenon continued for about a year. No one was ever able to solve it. It just gradually ceased on its own. Zobita. Right. Later, the theory of the tyrant's final fury became less probable in the eyes of the church. Common reasoning dictates that the god of storms wouldn't shoot fireballs. Perhaps it was something else that caused the disaster. Anyway, this incident might not be related to the lost statue of the Seven, but I just can't think of any other strange incidents that might be. It's okay. Thanks anyway! There's that pointless word, thank you, again. I can never get used to hearing it. Oh, Rosaria, it's you. If you're looking for the Knights of Favonius, they're busy with those monsters again. Uh, those monsters? Those monsters that tried to attack Mondstadt last time during the Storm Terror incident? Wasn't that the Abyss Order? They're at it again? Indeed. They're gathering in Wolvenbum, causing great unrest among the wolves. Could it be that the Abyss Order is targeting the spirit of Lupus Boreas? <sighs> As for what purpose, I can't say for certain. Master Jean has already headed off to Wolvendom. I must also begin to make a move myself. Then I will go as well. Master Jean said you should stay at the church and continue your work with the clergy. But you're also a member of the clergy. Mach dir keine Sorgen. Ich werde dir auch helfen. Right. We'll go give Master Jean a hand. Oh. Okay. If the honorary knight will be there, then... But please, everyone, be careful. May the animal Archon protect you all. So, und dann wieder raus und mit dein Sprechen, dein Sleeve. Yeah. Es wird hell, Licht. <lacht> I see. Has the Abyss Order already launched a new operation? This could very well have something to do with the Defiled Statue. We should go as well. But what is the Abyss Order going to Wolvendom for anyway? Are they looking to do the same as they did with Devalin? Uh, not again! No, that's not likely. Unlike Osail, who was just suppressed, Andreas died long ago. Today, it is just his spirit that stands guard over Wolvendom. The Abyss Herald may just be targeting the spirit of Andreas in an attempt to garner some information from one of the Animo Archon's old companions. Okay, auf nach Wolfenlauf. Na gut, okay, Wolfenlauf, Wolfenlauf, Wolfenlauf. Bam. Wir starten mal die Map. Da waren wir schon mal. Ähm, ich habe hier einiges sammeln müssen. Hier gibt es nämlich irgendwie so eine seltene Pflanze, die ich brauche hier, um Razor hoch zu pimpen. Hier, diese hier nehme ich Lampenkraut, war das. Oder Wolfskraut. Irgend so ein Zeug. Oh, warte mal, warte mal. Ja, es gibt wieder was. Ich brauche Masken. Da ist der Eismann. Ja, nein, das ist der andere. Komm schon. Das ist noch euer Ernst. Ja, ah, zerbrochene Maske, die brauche ich. Schriftrolle. Ja, wird doch. Komm. Ah, lag da noch was? 
ich irgendwas vergessen? Nope, alles da. Nee, 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 was ich äh, brauchte, war glaube ich so ein Wolfkraut. Ich guck mal, ob ich es finde spontan. Das war immer so ein Gebüschen versteckt. Wenn man hier schon mal durchgeht, dann kann man es auch mal gleich mitnehmen. Nein, Jumping Jungs brauchen wir nicht. Wir sind auch gleich am Ziel. Ah, ja, 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 war mir schon klar. Don't underestimate the enemy. Let's take them now. The closer we get to the target, the more enemies there are. <laughs> Fits the Abyss Order's style. Wir sollten uns beeilen und Boreas finden. Yeah, let's go! I'm not going any further. Huh? Why not? Is it because you're afraid of fluffy animals? <laughs> ah, okay, sind flauschige Sachen nicht süß. It has nothing to do with wolves. It's because Boreas was an ancient god, yet he willingly became a servant of the Seven. I cannot possibly agree with his actions. I don't desire any interaction with him. Besides, you're the one people like. I'm less likable. Du verabscheust die Sieben wirklich, hm? There's nothing special about gods anyway. It's just my opinion, but a word of advice. Always be on your guard when around gods. You shouldn't place too much trust in them. But at the same time, don't go too far in the opposite direction. Don't go trying to overthrow them or hunt them down. Even if the god in question is your sworn enemy. Don't trust them and don't hunt them. That's some awkward advice. Does Dean hate the Seven or is he protecting them? Warum hast du so eine widersprüchliche Meinung? <lacht> Lest I repeat the failings of my forebears, I will tell you one final fact. Huh? What fact? The destruction of the nation of Kanria by the gods is the reason the Abyss Order now seeks to destroy the nations watched over by the Seven. Well... Enough chit chat. We should get back to business. I will go take care of the remaining Abyss Order members in the area. Try and keep your visit with Boreas brief. Afterward, let's meet at the entrance to Wolvendom. Up, there he goes. What a strange man. Ich kann verstehen, worauf er hinaus will. Yeah, that's true. You also keep your guard up against unfamiliar gods. At the right of dissension in Lyre, your decision was very similar to what Dane would do. Wenn das Vertrauen fehlt, ist es besser, die Situation komplett zu vermeiden, als zu verhandeln. <sighs> Not the easiest situation. Honorary Knight, Paimon, what are you two doing here? Oh, Master Jean! So glad we found you! Rosaria told us that you came here to fight the Abyss Order, so we came to help. Then your help is greatly appreciated. The Abyss Order's sudden offensive is very strange. They have surrounded Wolvendom. I am preparing to send out some knights to fight back. I just scouted out all of Wolvendom, but I did not see you. Rosaria told me that the Abyss Order is going after Boreas. But the Abyss Order and Boreas... What is the connection between them? They just like to cause trouble. Ah, do they really need a reason? 
the Abyss Order already went after Devalin. It's not too surprising that they would also go after another one of the Animal Archons' buddies. Hmm... That is true. Regardless, whether the reason behind the present threat is clear or not, I will handle the situation. Honorary Knight, please go and check if Lupus Boreas is in any danger. This god's spirit... He does not often see people, but I hear that you have met him before. Maybe it is best that you are also the one to meet him this time. Ich werde das übernehmen. Okay, be careful. Thank you for your help, Honorary Knight of Favonius. So. Und wie gesagt, Lampenkraut war es nicht, was wir gesucht haben. Wir mal gucken, ob es irgendwo noch mal fit, ne? Das war eine andere Pflanze, eine Zuckerblume auch nicht. Na, die finden wir auf jeden Fall in der Nähe von sozusagen dieser Boxhöhle. Wir gehen ja weg wie Butter. Aha, Bronzen spitzer also der Bogenschützen, ja, die lassen keine Masken. Ach, doch, doch, eine Maske, eine Maske, eine Maske, ich brauch die. So, dann gucken wir mal, ob wir noch was von diesem Zeug finden, was ich euch versprochen habe. Ach, komm. Um die Töne. Das Schild müsste gleich weg sein. Jawohl. Ach, Wolfshaken, genau, da ist es. Ich habe doch gleich eins gefunden. Das sind diese Teile, die ihr braucht, um den guten Razor hochzubringen. Hier, da. Das sind nämlich noch mehr. Die findet ihr unter solchen Sträuchern. Und wie gesagt, um diese. Wolfshöhle kann man ja nicht sagen. Das ist ja irgendwie so ein... Äh, Gott, Atrium. Ich hoffe, das war jetzt richtig. So also ein... Ja doch. So ein offener Platz letztendlich. Ja. Ich nehme die mal gleich mit. Wer weiß, irgendwann muss man doch wieder hochleveln. Dann spare ich mir dann wenigstens das Gelaufe hierher wieder. Was man hat, das hat man. Wie gesagt, wenn ihr die braucht, diese Dinger, die gibt es hier ganz, ganz viel. Die habe ich schon fertig und... Hey. Look, over there, it's Razor! And the Abyss Herald! Okay. It's me, Razor! Aber ich bin doch hier. Hallo! You, not welcome here! Ja. Yeah. Ich bin mal gespannt, ob wir gleich zu zweit fighten können. <lacht> so, the wolf's wretched spirit likes to raise wild pups now. You claim to be a guardian, yet your once sharp claws have clearly dulled since your days of godly glory. If you serve us, we can restore your divine powers you once held in the past. Lise. Lise. What the heck is this ceremony? He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh no, is this the same thing they did to corrupt Devalin's mind? Wolves never surrender. This can't go on. Ich beende das. No matter how many times you resist us, your efforts are all in vain. Ja, und dann nächster Versuch. <lacht> okay, der ist weg. Go. 
Orders given. Orders received. Schon klar. Und schon. jetzt ein bisschen zu heilen. Also klappt ich den mal ein bisschen. Ja. So, geschafft, geschafft. But a small unforeseen variable. Our grand scheme will not be affected. It disappeared again. Wenigstens konnten wir ihn dieses Mal aufhalten. Thank you. You came. Just in time. Human Lupacol. I am ashamed that you must see me in my present state. But still, the Abyss Herald underestimated my strength. Lupus Boreas never refuses trial, but scary outsider, not respect trial rules. I too didn't see the trap wait so you mean the abyss order had everything prepared to corrupt lupus boreas's mind then lured him out under the pretense of challenging him in a trial das ist nicht deine schuld razor thank you in the future my claws must get sharper you smelled danger and came here no, we heard about the danger. Paimon's nose doesn't even know what danger smells like. Besides coming to help, we actually have something to ask you about, too. Uh, excuse us, Mr. Wolf God. Do you know anything about the first field tiller? I pay no heed to the contraptions of humans. I know not what this field tiller is. Though there was indeed one human-made machine that I can never forget. It entered into my proving ground by accident, and I mistook it for a challenger. But 
what it could not think. Only fight. It was designed as a pure killing machine from top to bottom. I eventually damaged it greatly with one of my attacks. Before it fell to the ground, it fled the proving ground. Hmm. By the sounds of it, it's possible that could have been the very first field tiller, right? Konnte er sich drehen? Yes. It could spin, leap high into the air and even shoot fireballs. Although no match for a god, it was stronger than even many who wield visions. Fireballs? Hey, didn't we hear this somewhere else recently as well? Anyway, this pretty much proves that the first field tiller came to Mondstadt, doesn't it? It sounds like the first one was way stronger than the mass-produced ruin guards that came after. But in this story, it was damaged at the proving ground while fighting the Wolf of the North. Don't know, but did we help? Keep investigating something super important. The Abyss Herald may have left, but the Abyss's forces are still attacking. You two be careful. Yes, I smell more danger. Bigger danger. You two also be careful. Guys, that was some good intel. Quick, let's go tell Dane. So, jetzt müssen wir mit Dame sprechen und der ist jetzt hier irgendwo... Ah, wieder am Anfang. Na, ja, sowas aber auch. So, dann teleportieren wir da mal hin. Oh, gucken wir mal, wie weit wir dann sind. Für die Mission dann schon... Ah, da ist er schon. Dame, da bist du! Hast du Master Jean I saw her, but purposely avoided her. As both the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. But back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? I see. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Der letzte Zorn des Tyrannen. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister, long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Die Feuerbälle, die vom Himmel prasselten, waren vermutlich Raketen. Ah, Paimon gets it. So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolfendom. After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever anyone got close, pew, pew, boom, it would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before. So they came to interpret it as the tyrant's final fury. It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Brauchst du nicht. Hm. What do you mean? Ich erinnere mich. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt. Huh? You 
mean? <gasps> oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. So, dann auf zu den Sturmschreckenruinen. Na, na, gucken wir mal da nochmal nach. On the top. So, top, top. Ich glaube, Statue, Teleporter. Ich probiere es mal. Ich, da war ziemlich oben. Ich erinnere mich. Boah, ist das lange her. Genau, das, da geht es hier hoch und wir müssen noch höher. Und hier ist der Aufwind. Der uns da erstmal rüberführt. Der Aufwind bringt uns hoffentlich äh, ganz nach oben. Hey. hey. Ja, ich glaube, das ging jetzt hier rüber, genau. Oh Gott, wie lange ist das schon her, als ich hier gewesen bin? Ewige Zeiten. another method using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements let me give it a try thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The eye of the first field tiller. All of the ruin guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, And if the limbs of Osail, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Der Orden des Abgrunds muss aufgehalten werden. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? Wir sollten es in der Kathedrale, ja, ich denke auch, die Kathedrale dann, da sind sie weitgehend geschützt. No. Oh. I'll guard it myself. Mhm. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. Und wie das? We can't have the Church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! Oh, well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise she'd be going completely bonkers right now. <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. I'll make sure it doesn't get away this time. Ok. 
Okay. Wo führt es uns dieses Mal hin? Okay. Ich gucke nochmal auf die Zeit. Jawohl, eine geht noch. Diese Missionen sind immer irre lang, finde ich. Und was nicht unbedingt schlecht ist, dann passiert wenigstens etwas. Und ähm, ja, wird man wenigstens für das ganze Gerinden so ein bisschen entlohnt. So, Tag rein. mal klappen. Man muss da hochspringen, um darüber zu kommen. Puh. Looks like we're here. An eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald. It's here. <laughs> you sense correctly. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dane's Smith, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed. Perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... <clears throat> oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! Okay. Uh, come on, the Abyss! Wow. 
life goes on. again. Endlich habe ich dich gefunden. Uh, wait! He just blocked an attack against the Abyss Herald. Your brother? And the Abyss? Lumine, why are you with Dane? Du meinst Dane? Uh -huh. Wir waren so lange getrennt. Team up with this man. He is my enemy. Ether. Warte einen Moment. But it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the abyss. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your enemy... Oh, Paimon's so confused. Komm doch, Ether. Lass uns nach Hause gehen. Oh. Mm. 
Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, my war with destiny will see no end. Mit der himmlischen Ordnung? Listen to me, Lumine. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have always had enough time. He left. Oh, don't be too sad. We'll find them again. Look on the bright side. At least we got some really useful information. Du hast recht, Payman. Es gibt Hoffnung. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. At least now, as well as the seven, Dane is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? Ein weiteres Ziel für unsere Reise. That's right. Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Einigermaßen. Oh, well then, let's go over it again. First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother a prince. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? Next thing, turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. And Dane is from Conria too. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? But if the monsters of the Abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the Abyss Order now? Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the Abyss? What's up with that? Tja, wie es immer so ist, wir haben viele neue Fragen, aber wenige Antworten. Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Come on, traveler, let's go. Ja. Und to be continued. Es geht weiter. So, wir kommen jetzt hier raus aus der... Ah ja, da drüben. Und es gibt eine Kiste sogar. Wow. Na, wenigstens das. Dann gehen wir mal aus dieser Sphäre raus. Ah, ich war noch Spaß. <lacht> so, dann schauen wir uns das Ganze noch einmal an. Einmal gehen wir jetzt hier noch mal rein. Und wir sehen jetzt hier, dass es jetzt mehrere Freischaltungen gibt. Kätzchen mit Spezialtrank, also von Diona und äh, die Herbstwinde, tiefrote Blätter. Ich gehe mal davon aus, dass ich jetzt äh, das als nächstes machen werde. 
Und ähm, ja, das würde ich dann euch nächste Woche zeigen wollen. Ja, Legendenauftrag. Ich finde das mal blöd, hier werden immer irgendwelche äh, Sachen immer aktiviert. Äh, ja, da kann man dann diese Beziehungsschlüssel immer aktivieren. Ich habe das so einmal gemacht, hat mich jetzt nicht unbedingt so umgehauen. So, was haben wir noch Neues? Neue Errungenschaft habe ich bekommen, weil ich das Ganze jetzt abgeschlossen habe. Oh. oh das hat doch mal was gebracht. Und, oh. Ankündigung, gibt es was Neues? Na. Also, ja, mal wieder aktualisierte Inhalte. Jawohl. Und Post gibt es auch. Was gibt es jetzt wieder? Ah, ja. Kannentaler. Mal gucken, wann ich die mal einsetzen kann. Ja. So, dann wisst ihr im Prinzip schon, wo es nächstes Mal hingeht. Ich bin hier soweit durch. Und kann nur sagen, have fun, neuer Aboram. Bis demnächst hier auf meinem Kanal. Ciao, ciao.